Hi, and welcome to another narration presented by yours truly, Cryptid Roost. Please be so kind as to throat punch the like button and smack the arse of the subscription button as well. And remember to choke hold that notification bell and then select all. That way you'll receive all notifications each time I upload a new video. And by subscribing, you will be the first to see all our new creepypasta stories. I would like to reach out and say a huge thank you to those of you who have been supporting Cryptis Roost financially with your sponsorship. We pray the good Lord replenishes you abundantly and to those of you who will later on. We pray the good Lord bless you as you do so. And also a huge thank you to everyone for always supporting the channel with your likes, comments and shares as well. It is all very much appreciated. God bless you all. And why not hashtag Cryptis Roost in your comments. And I hope you all enjoy this Halloween weekend. To so grab your coffee, sit back and enjoy the show. And don't forget, where fear is, happiness is not. Greg Against the Night This awesome short story is written by Stoic Dream Venturer a wonderful author over on Reddit. And if you'd like to read more of his works, the Reddit link to his profile will be below in the description. The time I defeated a master vampire, well, I survived anyway, sort of. I'm Greg, I'm young, full of life, and I just stumbled upon an honest to goddamn vampire nest. Taking all that Hollywood taught me, I geared up for a late morning of vampire grilling. Using a rather large shrub for cover, I ran through my checklist. Goggles, holy water guns, blessed crosses, silver plated, cross emblem brass knuckles. It was a Sunday morning, less likely for anyone to be around at this time. After all, I lived on the Bible Belt in the States. I proceeded by taping up the already blacked out windows as silently as possible, so as to catch the falling glass when breaking them. I attached a duct tape handle to ensure the glass wouldn't just fall noisily. After all outer windows were broken, I scaled the gutter to the master bedroom window, garlic paste infused holy water gun in hand and the sun up my back. I burst through the window anti-vampire water gun blasting away. Something or someone had me firmly by the throat, suspended in the air. What the hell, kids? Psh, kings. <laughs> it was a master vampire, but what's more, she was standing in broad daylight. Say, aren't you a bit old to be pluckily charging into a vampire lair? Did you think a cooking spice and Jesus water would kill me? Don't tell me you actually thought the sun would do all the work for you. I'm not so young as to die by that. She loosened her grip and I slammed to the floor. Looking up to notice she was terribly beautiful and um, completely naked. Uh, s sorry. I, uh, she laughed, <laughs> then abruptly stopped. Go ahead, get an eyeful, the master vampire said, baring her fangs in a wicked grin. Vampires die by sunlight. You're all allergic to sunlight. Sneezing once. <laughs> the older you are, the less severe the reaction. It only makes me sneeze now. Any last words before I drain you dry and make you my slave? Knowing I would soon die anyway, I said what any sane 19 year old would say. That's what she said. <coughs> In an instant, she latched onto my throat and began to practically vacuum my blood out. Within seconds, I began to lose consciousness, then heard something I hadn't expected. Laughter. <laughs> Sitting on the verge of unconsciousness, though perhaps I imagined this, I heard her say, 
You've amused me just enough for me to not turn you into a mindless ghoul. I don't want another simping idiot drooling over my power or my body. You practically spat in the face of damnation. Will you continue to surprise me? Only time will tell. Everything faded away. Nothing to feel, see or smell. Scratch that. I could smell something. No, not something. Everything. I could smell the damp earth, the old rotten wood of the box I lie in, the freshly cut grass above the shallow grave I had been thrown in. But more importantly, I could feel the sun setting as the cemetery's caretaker began his work of cleaning the graves nearby. As well as an unsettling sensation in my gut, building until I could feel the hunger gnawing at my insides. The last thing I remember before I burst forth from the grave that night was an unfamiliar voice inside my head, crying, screaming like a demonic baby. And simultaneously our first words together as we shook off the grave dust as well as the last words the graveyard's caretaker would hear. Blood! Crunch, slurp, snap. Don't forget, if you enjoyed that story, be sure to pop over to the author's Reddit profile and drop them a line. Or even give them a glowing review. I'm sure they really would appreciate it. The link to their Reddit profile will be below in the description. Please be so kind as to throat punch the like button and smack the ass of the subscription button as well. And remember to tap the notification bell and then select all. That way you'll receive all notifications each time I upload a new video. Oh, and don't forget to share the video far and wide. This will all help with YouTube's algorithm and will help to promote this channel more. And don't forget to check out the merch store. The link will be in the description and also in the video thumbnail. And if you would like an honourable mention, send in a snapshot of yourself with your purchase and I'll feature it in one of the videos. I now have my very own subreddit community where you can submit any stories you've written. You can submit your stories or encounters either there or send them to cryptidsroost at gmail.com. If you wish to remain anonymous, that's fine with me. All the links are below. I also have a Facebook group, Twitter, Reddit and you'll also find me on Discord. If you would like to support this channel and help make it grow, my PayPal is paypal.me slash cryptidsroost. Again, that will also be below.